Calaroga Shark Media. Hello, I'm Jenny Mack with five good news stories. Got another plane rescue story for you. A pilot and his dog survived a plane crash off the California coast. They swam to shore where they were met by authorities. The Piper PA-32, a single-engine plane, crashed around 5.15 in the afternoon. The pilot had reported engine issues. The pilot and the dog were treated at the scene for minor injuries. Not sure how far off the coast the plane crashed or what kind of dog it was, but I'm glad everybody's okay. Meanwhile, in France, Anouk Garnier broke the rope-climbing record at the Eiffel Tower by climbing a 110-meter rope to the second floor of the Eiffel Tower. She did it in 18 minutes. Anouk said, I can't believe I just did that. It's so crazy. It was me against myself. So I did what was necessary to get there. She is a two-time world obstacle course champion. She trained for a year before attempting the climb. Meanwhile, good news in California. The California condor, which is the largest bird in North America, went extinct in the wild in 1987. If you're of a certain age, you probably remember that announcement. The new chick is the 250th egg to be hatched at the San Diego Zoo. It was born to mom Mexwi and dad Zolzol. When Zolzol was first brought to the zoo, the population had dropped to a low of just 22 birds. Nora Wills is a senior wildlife care specialist at the San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance and said in a press release, reaching this milestone feels incredible. There's still a long way to go, but being part of this and helping the species recover is life-changing. The new chick has been named Emi, a word meaning sky. Before hatching, Emi was placed in an incubator to be closely monitored by a care team. It had been a brief concern for malposition, but the egg was given a clean bill of health and returned to Zolzol and Mexway for hatching. Under the recovery program at the zoo, Zolzol has fathered 41 chicks since 1993, many of which have been reintroduced to their native habitat. May is expected to join them in 2025. That's awesome. If you were commuting via train in Australia and you were like, is that a horse? Yep, it's a horse. A horse wandered into a train station in New South Wales after escaping heavy rain. I I don't blame you, horse. In a statement, an official of the Transport for New South Wales said the horse was reported to be wearing only a rug and demonstrating a bit of horseplay. He appeared to pursue an informant along the platform before unsuccessfully attempting to board a train. They were happy the horse followed station guidelines by not crossing the yellow lines. Good job, horse. It's unclear to me why the horse did not board the train. The horse was reunited with its owner after moving to the parking lot area and returned home unscathed. I don't have a clever way to get into this one. Let me just tell you, the largest fossilized human turd has been found. It apparently had belonged, is the word being used, belonged to a sick Viking back in the 9th century. The turd has been valued at $39,000. How big is it, Johnny Mac? Eight inches long and two inches wide. It was discovered in 1972 by construction workers. I'm not an expert. I don't think I would have been like, hey, you know what I think that is? I don't know. Back in 1991, dung scientist Dr. Andrew Jones. Dr. Andrew Jones sounds like a made-up name, doesn't it? Dung scientist Dr. Andrew Jones appraised the piece in 1991 in the name of insurance. He told the Wall Street Journal at the time, this is the most exciting piece of excrement I've ever seen. In its own way, it's as irreplaceable as the crown jewels. Paleoscatologists have studied the turd, and they've learned that the producer ate mostly meat and bread, because it was a Viking, and it was the 9th century. The producer had a gut full of parasites. The manure was found to be infested with whipworm and mawworm eggs, suggesting the Viking often had an upset stomach and other gastrointestinal problems. If you would like to visit the poo, you'll find it in a glass box at the Jorvik Viking Center in York, England. Where, listen to this, in 2003, visitors dropped it. It broke into three pieces. It has been repaired. I have many questions as do you. Um, Let's just ask them out loud. First of all, visitors dropped it. So it was like, hey, would you like to hold it? Like that, um, no. And isn't it a museum piece? I don't get it. Uh, And I'd be curious how it was repaired. The center is proud to call itself the turd's final resting place. They even host a virtual workshop in February called Poo Day where you can learn about the dung significance. And those are your five good news stories for today. If you enjoy the program, tell a friend about it. They might like it too. If you enjoy my company, I also host a podcast called Daily Comedy News, seven days a week where we talk about stand-up comedy. That one is fun and also clean. All right, have a great day.